So I think we're about ready. We've had very good crowds all week, and this final today is a packed house as well. So can you please put your hands together and welcome the two finalists, Jonathan Power and Jan Shikar. Well, these two players have been in very good form this week. And on the left-hand side of the court, Jonathan Power from Toronto, Canada. 23 years old and seeded four for this tournament. About six years ago, he played in a Hong Kong final. It was the World Junior final. Unfortunately, he lost that, but he placed himself in the squash map by turning pro a year later. And has steadily made his move up the world rankings. 1996 has probably been his best year so far and he put Canada on the squash map by winning the Tournament of Champions in New York and thus becoming the first North American to win an international squash title and in that tournament he defeated Rodney Isles and Peter Nichols on the way. In his very next tournament he backed this up with a win in Germany at the German Masters where he achieved his second PSA Championship title defeating England's Simon Park in the final. And on the way to that uh, win, he also defeated Del Harris and Mark Chalner. He's established himself at a career high now at world number four. And with his third career victory over Peter Nicol yesterday in the semi-finals, he's now back at another Hong Kong final. He's yet to drop a game. In the previous rounds, he defeated Omar El Barossi, three love. In the second round, he defeated Alex Goff, three love. The quarterfinals, he defeated Del Harris, three love. And yesterday, as we saw, he defeated Peter Nichol, three love. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Power. And his opponent on the right-hand side of the court, Jan Khan, 28 years old, from Peshawar in Pakistan, the world number one and seeded number one, yet again for this tournament. And he's generally regarded as probably one of the greatest players of all times. And he stated his ambition to try to win as many more titles as he possibly can throughout his career. And this has been a phenomenal career, beginning with the World Junior title in 1986, where he defeated Rodney Isles. And in the year that followed, on the Pro Tour, he won his first three Far Eastern tours, which included his Hong Kong title, the first one here. He defeated the great legend Jahanga Khan in that tournament as well. By the end of the year, he was the World Open champion. And that was a title he went on going to win another eight times. His domination time. of the sport, which has now been for about 10 years. His record to date, eight World, Total, World Open titles, five British Open titles. And he's successfully defended every other major championship many times. He has won over 70 career titles, including seven Hong Kong Open championships. In 1996, he won five out of the six event finals that he was in to maintain his number one ranking. And that included the British and the World Open. However, his championships and his defeats probably carry as much interest and he has been beaten in the last 18 months. But he's here in Hong Kong now to regain the title he lost last year. He's married with two children and he's coached by his brother, Mohubila, a former world number two himself. In the first round, he defeated Paul Gregory, three love. In the second round, he defeated Nicholas Taylor, three love. In the quarterfinals, he defeated Martin Heath. And yesterday's semi-finals, in a great match, he defeated Brett Martin. He's the world number one, he's seeded one, Jen Shikar.
referee for the match, Chris Clark, and the marker, John Cox. Time. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be the best of five games. Jonathan Power to serve the first game. Love all. So what can the young Canadian do against the number one player in the world? We had a super confident Jonathan Power in the semi-final against Peter Nicol. Different kettle of fish though, psychologically with Down. Jansha. That's a good start there for John. It's always nice Love. to get the first point out of the way and in your favour. Early appeal there from Janisher on the pickup. And I think the one important area of concern for Janisher Khan is this guy is young, improving, doesn't have a lot of fear. Janish is not used to beating him that often, so it does shape up as a very interesting contest. Down. To love. And I'm sure that Jansha will be treating him with real respect. He's more of a known commodity power now. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. His game is growing by the month. His confidence is growing. Well, I know the players do obviously take yes, a yes, lot of lad. notice of the form of the players in the tournament, Ooh. Jonah, and obviously Jonah should be very well aware that John Power has just knocked off Peter Nicol in three straight games very easily in the semi-finals, and I'm sure he'll be very concerned about that. We see that long drop shot from the back on the backhand side which was such a feature of his semi and already at the start you can notice the movement of the ball from the back from John Power as you stated but also the fact that Janisher is rallying here Bound. a lot of balls to the back of the court and out yeah I'm watching one two and you quite right Chris because he sometimes recently has started in a pretty laid back quite lethargic way but this is a very careful cagey controlled start from Jansha Khan 
but also Jonah, he, he made the referee Chris Clark aware of the pickup, just to show his enthusiasm and his keenness to get on top of this match early on. Stroke the can. Stroke the can. Two all. I'm not sure if John Powell's aware of how much respect Jonah looks like he's got for him at the moment, but certainly is an impressive start from both players. Court seems to be playing a, a bit quicker. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Post interfering. Hey, lad. Left box. Again, a lot of discussion Ooh. from Jonah Shikhan very early in the match, but you are right, Jonah does look a little bit lively compared to the semi finals, but also both players are driving the ball a lot more. There was much play around the front of the court. Consequently, the ball's getting a bit warmer. Down. Three, two. Again, we see the movement from the deep in the back end, use of the drop shot. He's certainly not afraid to throw the ball to the front. He's so deceptive with it, players are finding it difficult to get on the ball early. Jancha doing a lot more absorbing here than I've seen for a and while. Out. To no avail on this occasion. Three all. He was the ultimate squash sponge at one stage. Well, I still think he can soak up a bit, but uh, he can certainly play a lot more attacking shots and finesse shots at the front of the court than in the earlier days. He's showing here that he's able to re resort to a little bit of discipline yes, if he lad. needs to. Yes, lad. Three all. And again, his adaptability as a player is, is certainly one of the most impressive parts of his game. Down, hand out. And that's the type of area he's looking Four for, Janisher, at the moment. The ones from the back of the court, the ones where he doesn't have to pick the ball up. Oh, that's a great kill. Cross the line Five, of the tee. It appears at the moment that John Powell's not going to get too much his own way at the moment. Four, five. Still both very cagey. Trying to work each other out and. Seeking the cheap yes, points as much as possible. Yes, Four, five. You hit it short and loose. Yeah. 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 Still pretty close. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Four, five. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Make him go to the ball. Four, five. Bumps me every time. Okay. I call that and got it. He bumps me every time. No, lad. Why? I got the ball first bounce. He's giving this. No let. Why? Hand out. No let. Play on, please. 
six four. Just trying to get some a relationship going here. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Five box. Six four. Seven four. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Left box. Yeah, he would have got there. Left box. Seven four. Down, hand out, five, seven. Down, six, seven. Yes, lad. Six, seven. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Six, seven. Seven all. Stroke to can. Stroke to can. Hand out. Eight seven.
No lead. Air box. Okay, I'm watching. Me pushing here. Nine seven. Nine seven. Not this one. Don't worry about that. Can you please turn the telephone off, please? All telephones, bleepers off. Thank you. Eight, nine. And the match has really started to lose its early rhythm. It's becoming increasingly edgy. Yes, Lynn. Yes. Oh, you're not giving me one of those. Yes, yeah, I have. Yes, I have. Ten all. Yes, Lynn. This is becoming fairly typical Ten now. All. A lot of outbursts, not just from Jonathan Power, but also quite unusually from Jansha. Senses the uh, no, how vital here. this first game no, is. No, didn't touch me. Didn't touch me. This is my way. I you didn't touch, touch me. Let ball. Me. Yes, let. And again, let both ball. players Ten all. protesting so their cause. John Powell making reference that it's getting a little yeah, bit out of control. Play on, please. Ten all. I said I'm appealing the dead neck. The ball was okay. The game has turned a little bit ugly. A lot of lets, a lot of disjointed rallies, but it is the business end. Yes, let. Yes, let. Both players appreciate how important it is to get a bit of a break. No let. No let. And, out. and a fine drop shot from Jansher and a bit laboured from Jonathan. Seems to be a lot of dialogue from both players here. Jonah and Janish is trying to get his point across that uh, he feels John's asking for the let before the shot's been played. And there's a lot of mind games going on out there at the moment. Absolutely. Good use of the trickle boast there from John. Yes, Lynn. Hadn't played that shot before in the game. Right box. Stop. Right, please. Right box. On the right. And the referee, Chris Clark, very, very busy. And I do think it's the referee's responsibility to clean this game up a little bit now. Both players are trying to get a lot of things for free out there. Yes, Lynn. Again, yes, typical lead. situation there. Room to play the ball. Yeah. Is room to play the ball. Right and no lead is a, is a way of getting him to play it. There's a lot of discussion about that currently, Chris. A lot of players have said that uh, 
It's too much leniency amongst the referees in regard and to that. But there wasn't too much leniency about John Powers' forehand drop shot there, though. Beautiful disguise. Held the racket face open and pushed it in. Jansha really is very unsettled. And you'd have to uh, think that this is favouring John Power to have a lot of the discussion and arguing going on from the world champion. You would feel that John Power could play with this type of atmosphere a lot easier than Jansha Khan. Maybe that highlights the fact that it is upsetting Janisha. crowd very quiet and very absorbed really intrigued by this contest Jansha the known factor and the young gun who is emerging Out. And that's well, the type of rally Janisha Khan needs, just to settle himself down here, get a few more balls at the back of the court, stop the questioning and get his mind back on set. Out. And certainly that helps when your opponent, when he is getting some control, plays a very poor choice of shot. Oh, that was a very unwarranted shot. He tried to really fake it, and it didn't work. 14, he only 13, basically fooled 40. himself. Very costly. Needs to gather himself again. Oh. Strokes apart. Yes, and justifiably. <laughs> Clear-cut stroke. Nice bit of theatrical movement there from John Power. It's, he played a loose ball, he was there to play it. It's a stroke. Yeah, but it's me, you know? Set, please. Set. Now, it's terrible to say this, Jonah, but this game really has sort of stroke. gone from some very high heights to some very low Set. heights. Seems to be more talking than playing. So both players are locked at 14 all. 14 all, game four. The call is one from the world champion. Very surprising. It's sudden death both ways. Great drop and Good squeeze the stroke. Okay. Great start for Jonathan Power. One love. First game to Jonathan Power by 15 points to 14.
15 seconds. Power leads by one game to love. Love all. Back swing. Let ball. Yes, let. Love all. Let ball. Yes, let. Love all. Stroke to can. Stroke to can. Hand out. One love. Yes, let. Yes, let. It is different before that. Let ball. One love. Yes, let. Yes, let. Two love. Down. Three love. Not up. Hand out. One, three. Two, three. The ball was good.
hand out. 4-2. Yes, let. Yes, let. Four, two. Yeah, I didn't like that bad either. Down. Down. Hand out. Three, four. No let. No let. Hand out. Have the towel, please. Thank you. Thank you. No let. I was there, I got it first round. No, you no, won't. No let. Six three. Yes, let. Yes, let. Six three. Left Let box, go. please. Left box. Six three. Yes, let. Yes, let. Six three. Seven, three. Stroke to can. Stroke to can. Eight, three. Yes, let. Left box. Let ball, please. Left box. Let ball. Eight, three. Down. Hand down. Four, eight. Down. Hand out. Nine, four. Get 
ten four. And out. Five ten. Yes, let. Yes, let. Five ten. Is going here. Play on, please. It's room to play. And out. Sorry. Gretchen. Six ten. Stroke to power. Stroke to power. Seven ten. Yes, let. Yes, let. Right box, please. Seven ten. Stroke to can. Stroke to can. Hand out. Eleven seven. This guy's racket back in front of the ball hits the front wall. Well, although Jonathan has let Jancha get away, uh, at the same time, he's still well there. He has the one game to love lead. And the Pakistani is still no discomforted. No Hand out. A terrific forehand boast. Not out of a coaching Eight, manual. 11. Jansha, nowhere near it, didn't read it. But you're right there, Jonah. What? Yes, Led. The early part of the yes, game, Led. John made some elementary Eight, mistakes, let him get away, but he's held on well, and now he's starting to get in and put a few patterns together, get Jansha working forward and back a lot more. He's still in this game. Yes, Led. Yes, Led. What is this? You could have gone to the ball if you were in the way. Head the one thing that hasn't changed is the dialogue and confrontation. This referee Eight, really 11. does have to clean this up a bit. Down. You're here. Play a little, please. Ah, oh, come oh, on. The ball's perfect, John. Just perfect. I hear he's teaming up. Play a little, please. We all slide good. Oh, no. Everybody slide good. I don't know how he fished you into that one. Mark a call that Donald played the late. Okay. 8 11. I'm ready. Let's go. Well, the dialogue is not to Jansha's advantage, in my opinion. He, he still has the lead in the second. But there was embarrassment in the first when there was a lot of talking, and he became involved in it, and he would want to really get on with the job. Playing against a dangerous animal. Yes, Led. And that would appear to be a very ordinary decision from the referee. Yes, it's a wonderful forehand drop shot there from Jonathan Power. I have so many arguments for that one, too. I'm going to save them for later. I'm glad he's saving them for la later, but there is a lot of justification in uh, what he's probably going to say. <laughs> it's a great shot. And the crowd starting to get a little bit disappointed with the amount of lets and stoppages. Eight, that probably was a let decision. But without any doubt, John Powell's back in this game. And at one love up, it really is poised at a very, very delicate stage. Yes, Led. Yes, Led. And at the moment, they're Eight, both basically 11. running into each other. So there's no sense of um, a need to keep continuity. 
There's no punishment from the referee. And there was a poor error there from Janisher. Probably a lot to do with the concentration factor and, and the dialogue. It's now back at 9-11. A lot of holding going on there from John. Creating a lot of doubt in Janisher's mind. Is he going to take the ball forward or back? No let. No let. Well, that was pretty crucial because Jonathan Parr was creeping ever closer. Score-wise and psychologically. Janja's even arguing now when he's basically nine. got the decision, so he certainly needed a point at this stage. Will it give him the cushion to level the match? But again, that's a sign that he's very, very worried about the situation and the opponent that he's got. The more that John can get him talking, the more chance he's got of winning, I think. Well, he certainly produced a, a masterful backhand drop shot at a critical stage. 13, nine. Well, it is his most lethal weapon, the front backhand corner with the volley and the drop. You should always save it from the important times. Broke to Khan. 14-9, game ball. So Jansha serves to level, fight a level. Trying to return to a solid deep before going short. And the faded drop just picked up. And Bounce. then squeezed to the back of the court. Fine, fine rally from the Canadian. Quality rally. Hand out 10 14. Game ball. Janisha didn't enjoy that rally too much, going for a little bit of a wander just to get the breath back. Down. And obviously he hasn't got it fully back yet. 11, he wants to have a bit 14, more of a rest. Game four. Janja goes back to rallying, having gone for the early win up. Yes, led. Yes, led. 11 14, game ball. Again, trying to compose himself. Just get the feeling John's left this a little bit too late, this charge. Just struggling forward, only just oh. getting it. No let. No let. No let. And for the first time in the match, no let. The referee. There was no interference. Play on, please. Basically saying 12, no interference. 14, should have ball. played the ball. No let. Come at a critical time. And that's a composed oh. finish. Unlucky for Jonathan Power. Yeah. Slipping. Jancha back on terms. Second game to Jancha Khan by 15 points to 12. One game all. I mean, much has been made in recent years of um, Jancha's level of fitness, and it'd be interesting for you to comment on that one, Chris. Well, he certainly looks uh, a little bit different to when I was playing against him. He was built like a wafer in my day, but to be fair to him, his racket control and shot selection has improved tremendously, but that photograph shows that uh, he has put on a few pounds. Although he continues to win about 95% of the time, and this young man has really been putting him to the test in many, many different ways today.
15 seconds. Time. One game all, love all. So everything to play for still? Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Love all. And a little bit of John Powers' own medicine back on One him from Janusha Khan well. there with the flick down the wall. And it will be very interesting to see how John Power reacts to one all, opposed to being two love up. He's known as very talented. You do have to have an element of patience and grind about you at this game. And that's when he needs it right now. Solid length start. Quite a conservative approach from both players. Lovely hold, didn't fool Jancha. His ability to read. Jonathan's deception has been excellent in this match. Again, that's a, a very good hold there from Jonathan. Yes, Laird. He was there, Jancha. And left ball. Left box. One. Yes, there's interference, he could have got to the ball. Let ball. Jancha very eager. One love. But your point about the deception is very good, Jonah. Jancha holds his ground very well, waits until the shot is actually played, and then has the speed of foot to be able to get there, unlike a lot of other players who try to anticipate and move a little bit too soon. ball and again we're back to the type of squash we had at the start of the match a lot of long rallies or longer rallies and at one all they're starting all over again and out Both boys really constructing the rally carefully. One all. Really good finish from Jonathan down the backhand wall. And when he puts rallies together like that, Jonah, he really does look the complete package. I just wonder if he's able to keep it up. No let. No let. And that's a good decision there from the referee. A lot of ground to make up. Hand out. 2-1. And again, that trademark backhand volley. Drop. It does not come very far off the front wall. And the quality start from yes, both players. Yes, five. Yes, there was interference. Can you ask me five? <laughs> you were interfering with this path to the ball. Play left. I think Jonathan Parr quite relieved to get a let. I'm trying my absolute hardest. 
Right you can hear there please. from Jonathan. He's telling everybody he's trying pretty hard out there. Two and again, one. the urgency in Janish's reaction and in his play really does show that he fears this young guy from Canada. haven't really seen that much work down the forehand wall it's been a terrific battle on the backhand side here we are again very tight work squeezing each other and then the deceptive boast and ag again boasting really is a quality opening both players have upgraded their level stroke to can stroke to can that is a good decision from the referee. Left box, please. Janisha Left. couldn't play that that shot to where he Three, wanted one. to. And you're right there, Jonah. It's a much, much better start in this third game. Good full court squash. The way most people like to see it played, I think. Stroke to par, stroke to par, hand out. Two, three. It's the real business of the day though when players are working yes, like this. Yes, <laughs> Two, three. I think it's important to note that John Powers most destructive part of the court is the front forehand corner. Janish is working the front backhand corner at the moment. I'm sure it's been a, a ploy of his not to put the ball too often over there. No let. No let. And we see a lot more decisive and decisions out. from the referee here as well. A lot more strokes and a lot more no lets. Sorry? I'm watching it, there's too much fishing else there. It's already doing, you know. Okay. And I'm appealing you ten times. Okay. Oh. Where am I going to go? I'm going to leave the right And the conversation starting well, again after some of the most intense activity of the match. And there's no doubt at times Jancha has been seen to use yes, that ploy himself to get a yes, rest. 4-2. Let. Yes, let. Oh, yes, let. Swing. No. Four, two. And again, a very adventurous call there from Janisha. Clearly not a stroke. Yes, let. Yes, let. For him to play the ball, Janisha. But in that instance, he might have a case to well, well, argue. Well, but I think he's caused that on himself, Jonah. By asking so often, I think the referee's starting to go against him when it matters. And the pattern that we were all really rather enjoying is lost again a little. That's a wonderful shot there from the world champion. Saw the ball very early there. Moved straight onto it. Nice and crisp. He's opened up a nice four point lead here. Yes, let. Yes, let. It's clear of you when you're going to hit. On the right place, 6 2. Can you tell me which one is 2? No, you, you, you was clear it? when you were going to hit. Sorry? 6 2. Why is that? You was clear when you went to swing. Oh, play on, please. Wake me up when this is over. 6 2.
seven, two. And out. Three, seven. Down. Four, seven. Yes, lead. Yes, lead. Four, seven. Up. Not yep. up, hand out. Eight, four. Down, hand out. Five, eight. Let. No let. Oh! No let. Those and out. The easy no. ones. They're right there. Nine, five. Down, hand out. Six, nine. No let. No let. Hand out. Ten, six. Eleven six. Well, despite all the shenanigans, Jancha has managed to retain his lead. Yes, lead. Yes, lead. Left box, please. I can't get him into a rally. This is just left a box, please. Painful. Left. Eleven six. And Jonathan now complaining that he can't actually get a rally going and at this stage it does seem to be in Jancha's favour that the match is played with shorter rallies, but very much because of the quality of his early work as he put himself into this position. And that won't help. That will not help Jonathan Parr's cause. Twelve left. six. Right Plenty of fuel, further ambition to Jancha Khan. But you're right though, Jana, it's very easy to forget. But in this game, Janisha has stepped up her gear, play with a lot more control and patience, shown us his clinical finishing at times. It's up to John Power to respond to that. And that type of rally is a, a little bit more of the indication of what they're capable of doing. It was a hard one too at this stage, Chris. It was very fast and furious. Seven of twelve. Put the heart rates up. Yes, lead. Yes, lead. Seven twelve. But all the time these lets are giving both players a chance to get their breath back. And out. And a chance to aim it up and put it in. Well, he practiced it on the first seven. one and uh, it came back and there was a let. And practice proved to be very attractive. Again, the use. Out. Out. Unfortunately, a mistake there, but he's using that back end deceptive boast 14, again. Seven, game ball. Game ball down to go 2-1.
behind. He needs to change his tactics. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. That's the story of the match right there. Yeah, man. And there's John Power basically agreeing. Play the ball. Play on, please. It's 14 7. Play on. That that should be a stroke. His frustration is for Janisher as well as himself. So Janisher will finally serve for the 2 1 lead. Nudge into the corner, and it's good enough. Second game to Janja Khan by 15 points to seven. Janja Khan leads by two games to one. Fifteen seconds. Time. Khan leads by two games to one. Love all.
to love. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. To love. That was good. Three love. Down. Just be quiet. Can you tell him to shut up until the rally's over? Sorry? Will you tell him to be quiet until the rally's over? Can you over? please keep quiet until the rally's completed? Thank you. From the right, please, gentlemen. <laughs> His racket's broken. Four love. Stroke to Khan. Stroke to Khan. Five love. Six love. Yes, Lynn. No, Lynn. Yes, Lynn. Right box, six love. Down. From the left, please. Seven, love.
Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Ball's my turn. Left ball, left box. Left box. Seven love. Down. Your head's so gone, Jonathan. Eight love. Now, hand out. One eight. Down. Hand out. Nine one. Stroke to par. Stroke to par. Hand out. Two, nine. Well, the smallest bit of redress for the weary Jonathan really has been one way traffic through this fifth, um, fourth game. Hand out. The look on his face there tells it all. Ten, two. The sooner this is over, the better, I think for John Power. Certainly put up a good performance in the first two games. Showed his quality in his class. Jonas Shikhan, the formidable opponent under all circumstances. Just quietly reeling in 11, now. Two. And the way they're playing at this stage does not reflect the heat of the contest through the early part. It was well a fierce battle. Two. I think what John Powell can take away from this match though, Jonah, is the, the fact that the respect that Janisha gave to him early on, his ability to compete with him at the highest level. If he can just find a little bit more fitness and a little bit more consistency, you're certainly looking at somebody that can challenge it at the highest level here. 13 yes, and two. Jancha also, Chris, giving the message to those who might have doubted his ability to win at this level after a close British Open and then losing Stroke the Alaram to, to Peter Nichol. He's come through and he's... Match ball. On many occasions, been very impressive uh, during this final part of this great championship. Game, match. And that's it. A slightly Jancha strange Khan. final shot wins Jancha Khan, the Cafe Pacific Hong Kong Open for the eighth time. What a fabulous record. Just going to ask Jonathan to say a few. Jonathan, it's been a great week for you. You played tremendous squash, and you've had a very uh, hard final there. It was exhilarating to watch, and, and also very tiring for the spectators. <laughs> Most definitely. It was uh, equally as tiring for them as it was for me. Uh, it's a pretty arduous and lengthy game. But uh, I'd just like to say a few words uh, on behalf of the players. Uh, 
First and foremost, I'd like to thank Cathay Pacific for their continued support over the last uh, 10 to 12 years. I'm not, I'm not sure, uh, but they've uh, been really instrumental in the Hong Kong Open, and uh, I hope they have uh, continued support in the future. Uh, we, all the players, really appreciate it, and uh, thanks very much for that. <laughs> Secondly, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Hong Kong Squash. Uh, first of all, Heather Dayton, who's uh, the backbone of the tournament, been here 12 years. Marlene Lee, for, uh, she's always been uh, there directing things, and uh, all of Hong Kong Squash. and. Uh, I'd like to wrap up with thanking the Warney Hotel and uh, Coca-Cola, the secondary sponsors. Also much appreciated. And uh, thanks very much. And I'll be back next year to grab that cup right there. Thank you, Jonathan. And of course, champion, we've seen him up here many, many times. Um, he wasn't here last year to receive the, the uh, winning championship, but he's here again. Jan Khan, the champion for Members of the press will give you uh, a photo opportunity. Jan Shah, I'm sure you want to say a few words. Um, from my recollection, you've played in nine finals now. You've won eight. And how long have you been coming here to Hong Kong? Well, uh, really, I enjoy here every year, and I played this event for the last 10 years. And uh, I enjoy every year, you know. And uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to thank to Cathay Pacific to, to sponsor our tournament for the last many, many years. And uh, I also, I'd like to thanks to SRA, especially uh, Mali, who is the tournament director, and uh, Heather. Uh, I know Heather from last many, many years when I'm a small kid, you know. And, uh, you know, we have a good time. And uh, uh, when I'm playing in Hong Kong, I just feel like I'm playing in my hometown. And uh, I'd like to thanks to everybody who is involved with this tournament. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure we will come next year to play once again uh, at the Pacific Hong Kong Open. And uh, I also uh, I'd like to thank to every sponsor to, to sp uh, sponsor our tournament. And I hope we will see you next year. Thanks very much. One, one last question, Jens. You've, you've won so many titles. Um, what is there left for you with regards to your motivation in squash? It must be a hard question, but you've won it so many times. What, is that, what are you going to do now for the future in, in your squash career? Well, uh, I will try uh, to win every major tournament for next 10 to 11 years, and then I will be, <laughs> then maybe then I will retire after this. We've got some players over here who's heard that. So there's, there's the competition going to throw now. Jan Chikan, the champion, 1997.